the first time we played that song. I think yep. it was at that show. Wow. How many of you have had the opportunity to hear our brand new single? Disappointed in the rest of you. I'm just kidding. Totally kidding. Just came out. I wouldn't expect you to go and listen to it anyway. Not until it hits the radio. That's when people listen to music. I'm just kidding. The song literally came out last week, and uh, we are we are super uh, excited about this song for a couple reasons. One, uh, we were in a writing session. Chris and I and all of us, we were just kind of trying to think of what to write about in this pandemic year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you write about? You write about leaving home? You write about freedom? Mm -hmm. Write about all this stuff? No. What we wrote about, we were having this conversation and, and a friend of ours said, well, what, what, what's, what's the number one thing you guys would like to tell people? And uh, we sat and thought about that for a while. And, uh, you know, I, I'm a history guy. I was going to be a history teacher uh, before all the before I got into ministry. I really love history because I think we can learn so much from history. And there, you know, we've heard this word unprecedented a lot this year. There is nothing unprecedented. The only thing unprecedented is the amount of screens we have to look at. That's true. Pandemics aren't unprecedented. Wars are not unprecedented. Atrocities are not unprecedented. Throughout all of history, that's what history is made up of. It's made up of these stories or humanity and their selfishness and their, their things. We hurt each other. That's history. I mean, that's what people have fought about for since the beginning of time. It's why Jesus came. Because he knew that human beings were going to be fighting each other forever. And he said, I have a better way. I have... I'm going to show you what the kingdom of heaven looks like. Righteousness, peace, and joy. And uh, so we sat and we thought about this for a second. We thought, you know, I've talked to a lot of Christians right now who are just living in fear. Just living in dread. They're afraid of the future. And it doesn't matter what kind of Christians they are. It didn't matter on the political spectrum or anything. It didn't matter. Everyone seemed to be afraid. And the Bible is pretty clear about love pushing fear out. We're supposed to be people of love. We're supposed to be people that are selfless and giving and caring. And we're supposed to be people that in no matter what the situation, we follow the way of Jesus. And so we got a little angry, if that's okay. I think we're allowed to get a little angry, right? Just a little bit. And we wrote this chorus and the chorus was kind of angry. And I've never written a song that asked a question in the chorus. And the question was, when did he lose his power? When did his mercy change? And so we're so, we are always so, we're like sitting here like, where is God? And yet we proclaim faith when the sun is shining, when we were able to preach from the mountaintops, when we're on the mountaintops. But when the world is fearful around us, all of a sudden we question our creator who promised us that bad times were going to come. We just, we just all of a sudden forget. And so we wrote a song that basically just says, our God is the same as he was yesterday in the good times. He's the same. He walked with people throughout all of history. Our great grandparents who fought a war where hundreds of million, hundred million people were killed. God was there too. And he was questioned then too. And so this song was our response to those Christians who are living in fear, saying you don't have to be afraid because our God is the same. When did he lose his power? When did his kindness fail? It never has and it never will. Our God is still the same. So brand new song. Promise. 
days and days can be spared. Never has, never will. My God is still the same. When did he lose his power? When did his mercy change? Never has, never will. Our God is still the same. Yeah. Mm-hmm.